Yeah. Like, yeah. So, sorry. It's so, like the guy earlier tried to sell me a watch on the street. Yeah. This, <laughs> so, okay, so this watch is a calculator watch. Oh, I just great. I just touch the numbers and, and then it comes, right? But actually, it, it's easy to understand. It's easy to know how to work, and it works like a piece of garbage because my I got fat fingers on the display. This is a touch screen too, but when I touch it there, it, the display is actually the hands, a mechanical display, and it's a compass. This one's a calculator as well, and the way I do it is I just write the characters right on the surface over the full surface. That's one, seven. I, I did a dot first, so it's point one. Uh, one, one. So I got point one one seven plus point three equals. So, right, so, so. Okay. Notice two or three things really important about interaction on these. They're all watches, they all have touch screens, none of them have anything to do with each other. Knowing how to use this buys you nothing knowing how to use that or that, or knowing how to use any two of them doesn't buy anything to the other third one. So I think it's reasonable to conclude that anybody who describes an interface as being a touch interface is unqualified to comment on the topic. <laughs> <laughs> because the granularity of the description is so coarse, it's meaningless. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. The essence of the design, the essence of the experience is way deeper. Okay. That's, a, that's observation one. Observation two is, when this watch, when it came, came on the market, came on at $97.99. <laughs> when was this watch commercially available? In, in, in mass consumer product. Okay. It's got full character recognition on it. It's the only one. It's very cool. From the look of it and the design of it? Yeah, but it's retro design or something like that. Oh, okay. Just go by, you know, you're, we're all like uh, somewhat computer literate. When did this watch get released? Oh, God. You give it again. 1999. 99? Anybody? Anybody else? 94. I'll, I'll say 74 or something. You're very optimistic, but you're the closest. Or, no, you're out in the middle. 84, you 1984. Said 1984. Oh, I said 84 yeah. earlier. This, okay, yeah, right this watch was released in the same year that the first Macintosh was released. Oh, right. right. So now, why are we all up and jumping up and down, dancing about how genius all of the things like the iPhone or any of these touch mobiles are? This has been around since the This has been around since 84, and you still can't do what this can do. You still can't text eyes free. Why is that? Why because the because we because we because we don't because we don't understand history. We don't we don't do our homework. We have we have more information. We have more. No no. I have a I have a cal, I have another version that came out also in 1984 that you could enter text as well. Okay. Whole thing. Whole, so what I'm trying to say is, it should, right? be, should be that. Not sure. The uh, model of the uh, Microsoft Sun smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. So, uh, but Bill, I have a question. But, but, I forgot all I was but, talking to. But Bill, I have a question about it. So, how come Microsoft doesn't come up with something like that? <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> to be continued. But, but this watch. Casio. 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 It's a Casio AT5. It's a Casio AT5. So why isn't Casio so making the, mobile phones? But the, but, 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 the, but the point is, is that they lost focus. But the point is, is that there's a, yeah. there's a huge history that we can draw on to inform the design. So whenever we're sitting there with a creative block, if you actually look around, um, line the graveyards of products past, there's actually a lot of clues to solutions that are really Relevant. So some of these things fail. They fail for good reasons, not because it's a bad idea. So, for example, if you believe Moore's law, computation doubles every 18 months. This is 17 Moore's law doubling this away. So we have two to the 17th. That's 134,072 or something like that. That's not quite right, but that's my memory can do. But it's, it's over 130,000 times the compute power on exactly the same size chip today that was in this watch. So you could cut, cut this chip in a fraction size, add Bluetooth, add Wi-Fi, and still have two orders of magnitude more computation power to apply to it. And, and then it could, you could have your phone in your briefcase. Who cares where it is? I don't care where the phone is. I can walk around and enter text and read text. And there's, there's, uh, oh, that would be great. Right. It's boggling that, that we're not at so, the, This is why uh, eBay is one of my most important sketches. I just go and buy stuff that's... <laughs> 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 Technically speaking, for the middle of the uh, conference, how, how does...
which is not as an very <laughs> the whole uh, conversation. Kind of you know? I don't know. There's, 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 I, I just assume that people are smart engineers. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that was my I, first thing. I, I, like, oh, I, don't have to, I don't have to solve that problem. <laughs> Hire somebody who's smarter than me. <laughs> I think the next speech is good. Thank you so much for uh, spending time with us. That was great. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.